Big Game. The Big Game is a film about Samuel Jackson. He plays the President of the United States and basically Air Force One, he gets shot down over Finland, he crash lands and he's a skate pod and now this 13 year old Finnish boy who's training to be some kind of hunter is now going to protect the President for the forthcoming threats. Before reviewing this film, I just want to clarify, I understand completely that this film is a B film. It's got a very low budget so it's not supposed to be a big Hollywood blockbuster action epic like you'd go to see normally so I understand that completely but I just don't think that justifies this film for being the the not so particularly very good film that it is or at least I thought it was but yes this being a B film and having a lower budget the special effects and CGI are extremely noticeable in this film you can tell every time when someone's on a green screen and you can just tell when they're on a set and it's really noticeable but it, it does take you out the film but I, for me I did I, I looked at it like yeah no you're on a set but it didn't really detract, well it did detract from the film a bit, yeah, but I didn't, I'm not trying to, I don't want to use it against the films. I know it's not supposed to be the big blockbuster it is, like I just said. But getting into the actual story and character of the film, Samuel Jackson, he could have been played by anybody, he really could have been. And pretty much the only reason this film got a cinematic release is because Samuel Jackson is the president. If, if he was played by an, any other person, it would have been a Netflix film. It honestly would have. If, if, if because of Samuel Jackson, this film is in theatres. But that being said, he did do an okay job in the role, but like I said, he, he could have been played by one of a few different people. The kid in this film, yeah, the actor was good in the role, but his character has more or less no development whatsoever. I mean, it, the whole his whole story is supposed to be like, he's supposed to be hunting to prove that he's a man for his dad or something like that. And it would have been good if if, if he actually grew as a character, which he, just, he didn't. He's just helping the present. He's like, yeah, he's just, he's just there. That's all the kid is, he's just there with the president in this film. It's like there's no connection between the kid and the president. They have a couple of talk scenes. Not a, not a lot, not as much as I thought they would be, but it's just they're just there and they're just trying to survive the odds. And on top of that, this film is very predictable for sure and, there's, and it's very cliched as well. You know who the douchebag is as soon as you see him. I mean, it's, it really is. I mean, as soon as you see me, like, oh, that's the douchebag. Sure enough, he's the douchebag. <laughs> the supporting cast was very, very forgettable. I mean, Jim Broadbent was in the film, but he was just a very extended cameo. This film has also been marketed as an action film, but this film, I, I kid you not, th there's pretty much little to no action in this film whatsoever. There's not even a shootout in this film. There's one fight on a sunken plane and that's it. Apart from that, it's just Samuel Jackson and his kid going around, the, the bad guys looking for them, and that, that's the film. And plus for me, this film felt like it was on for a lot shorter than it was. The film was only on for 90 minutes, an hour and a half, and it felt like it was on for a lot shorter. It felt like it was on for about an hour. And I, I don't know how, it's just the film just went so quick and it's not a, it's not one of those time flies and you're having fun kind of things. It's just, it went very, very quick. So in the end, big game, yeah, I just was not a particular big fan of the film. I didn't hate the film, it's just I really didn't like it. Me and my friend from college went to see this. We were the only two people in the cinema watching it, and we were just talking rubbish about it throughout the film. Like, <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> Look at that special effect. You can just easily tell it's there, you know what I mean? But yeah, but if, if, if you want to go to the cinema to see a really big, awesome action film, skip a big game. Given the fact that this film doesn't come out till the end of June in America, my question for you guys is what is your favourite film where it's a B film but it's supposed to be a grade B film, if you know what I mean? Like films like Machete and all that stuff, which one of them is your favourite? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below and if you like this stuff and you want to see more of my stuff then be sure to subscribe to my channel because i got stuff coming to you guys all the time.